Hey guys, it's your boy Mars, back to you with another tuning video. Uh, today uh, I am tuning the IROC, Camaro IROC 1990. Um, pretty fast car, one of the fastest cars there is for uh, the rear wheel drive scene. Front engine, and um, let's get right to it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alrighty, so as you can see about the car brand new, uh, let's go first things first, let's go to the uh, conversions and uh, slap in that uh, 6.2 liter V8, it's this one right here, with the 14, uh, I mean the <laughs> 415 horsepower and torque, and of course the car is rear wheel drive, I don't do that all wheel drive crap, and uh, let's put the, uh, on this one, matter of fact, let's do the car supercharged. Let's do a supercharged tune on this car. We're gonna do turbo, but let's do a supercharged tune. Supercharged tune has been uh, getting pretty popular, as I've been seeing throughout uh, the racing scene. And uh, uh, supercharge is really good uh, because it, 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 there's no lag. But there, the bad, the kind of bad part is that your first gear tends to spin more because it's instant power. Because of, there's no lag, so it kind of like gives you that uh, initial, you know, you want to extend your first gear more and make it longer. Um, but, you know, it's, it has its pros and cons, basically. It's, you know, everybody has their own beliefs upon it. Um, so what I would do, I put everything race until the uh, oil and cooling. So I'm going to leave the oil and cooling stock. And then, of course, I'm going to leave the flywheel stock. Um, so, yeah, everybody has their... Uh, beliefs on the uh the whole uh supercharger they think it's good they think it's not good certain cars are good with it certain cars are not good with it depending on how like the car revs out um it's, it's just there's a lot of factors into it um, with the whole supercharger the tires the weight a lot of things uh, are factors with it so uh it's kind of like a personal thing it depends you know on the car um, so as you can see you guys i put everything here race and then i put the car fully gutted and I put that roll cage and the car weighing in right now at 2,900 pounds. Um, so I'll probably lower it a little bit more of the way after I put these other things. Let's see, put everything here. Race, 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 race. Okay, and then on the tires, of course, you're going to put race tires, which are right there. And then nothing in the front. You're going to leave that stock. And then the rear, you want it all the way as uh, wide as you can at the 345s. And then we're going to put some really lightweight wheels. So we're going to go to the welds. Um, welds was always like the number one wheel back in Forza 4. <laughs> uh, okay, so nothing on the sizes on the front and the rear. It's going to be 15 inches, uh, the wheels, which is good. And then uh, nothing with the aero. Uh, you don't want none of that Forza stuff. Um, with the wing, uh, you can. Yeah, with the wing, you want it on these cars. I believe these cars, the rear end gets a little bit uh, crazy on them, so you do uh, want the wing on it. Which, uh, wings are pretty good with the whole stabilizer of the uh, car and everything. Of course, I want to get this hood. This hood is a little bit too much for my form of taste, but we'll put this hood. So now the car weighs at 29.46. Alrighty. And let's put everything on for free. I don't have to pay anything because I have the uh, all those board things unlocked and all that crap. So <clears throat> let's get right to it. I'm going to tune it at the uh, train tracks, one of the popular places to tune it. Um, of course, the car is not going to be on the grip glitch uh, thing that uh, a lot of people have been using. So as you can see, it's okay. Hear that whining from the uh, supercharger? <laughs> it sounds pretty, uh, pretty nice. All right, alrighty. So uh, as you can see, I'm gonna go back to my settings, my difficulty. Everything is off. Uh, Manny with clutch, like always, and everything, yeah, pretty much off. Steering wheel, uh, steering is normal. Um, and let's go to the uh, tune. So as in the tune, I want everything uh, probably going to be the front. Let's see what my 0 to 60 does in the front. So right now my 0 to 60 is a 3.012. 
and 0 to 100 is at the 5.924. So now if I move it all the way low in the front, it's only the, uh, the 0 to 100 change to the uh, 5.892. So I want them both at the 15 front and rear, which lowers my 0 to 100. Alrighty, as you know from my videos, it's going to be at 220 on the front. We're going to come back to that on that final drive and zero everything out and put that at seven. Then in the front and the rear, I'm going to put it at 65 in the rear on this one. I'm going to just <coughs> go lower, which as you can see now, my uh, zero to 60 went from 2.872 and 5.717 uh, now if i go to the 65 let's see if it goes lower and there you go it went lower on the zero to 100 uh, so we wanted at that 65 in the front and the back now on uh, the car of course i like it to uh, be soft in the front and then uh stiff in the rear leave it at the 6.44 in the rear and of course the car is going to be all the way raised um, front and rear and then let's do soft in the front stiff in the rear stiff in the front soft in the rear give it that equal distribution and of course with this uh, you want to always cornering it gives you that 0 to 60 extremely low and 0 to 100 a lot lower um, gives it that uh air effect on the rear of the vehicle giving it more downforce uh, which you need um, to kind of control the car from first to zick and uh, transition since first to second is actually the the main gear that you want alrighty so to launch the car is going to be A which is a uh, e-brake and uh, ease on the gas until the gas is fully pressed all the way down and you do not press the uh, the clutch and then you let go of A and of course it's going to probably spin oh it didn't spin <laughs> Wow, look the transition. So all I did, as you see, guys, all I did was just change. <laughs> all I did was just change the final drive, and the car hooked, and it drove down the line perfectly with the supercharger. That's pretty good. As you know, I will want this car to be. Um, I want it to be spinning. Like I want it I want it to the breaking point of it spinning on that first gear. As that's breaking point, this is what I mean. I put it at three on that first gear. Let's see if it spins on here. This is what I see. That's that's my limit. Now I now I know where my limit is. When my car starts spinning like that, I know when it's going to be my limit. So now I'm going to go five. I, I'm going to go buy fives now. So I'm at 2.95. So now I keep going more towards speed until my car finally grips. Let's see. There you go. See? But now look how my second bogs. Now you want your second to not bog like that. You want it to spin a little bit, but then hook towards the end. And also not lose that control because since we're racing on the train tracks, you want the control to be right there. So I put it at the 2.05 on the uh, second gear. So now my, my first gear is at pretty much that breaking point. Now my second gear, I want it to be... I want it to be like that little spin factor but hook I let go oh, so see I'm such in that breaking point that it, it's spin so I don't want that because you want consistency without having consistency with the cars um, it's not good it's not good at all you want more of a consistency all right so e-brake ease on the gas let go of the e-brake there you go hook lifted Alright, so right there it didn't look I looked like I was my car was kinda crooked, so it kinda did the whole little wanted to lose a little bit of control. Let me let me shorten down that uh final third gear at the 1.6. So the car's looking really good right now as you can see guys. It didn't bog on that second gear. And uh 
it kind of did on that third gear, so that's why I made that third gear a lot shorter. Let's give it another launch. Oh, why are you trying to spin on me? Come on. You see, that's, that's, the, that's the thing about superchargers. Sometimes it just wants to, sometimes it don't. Especially when you have it on that breaking point. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So it did a 157. Even though this is not a full quarter mile. That's extremely fast. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Um, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. See you guys later.